Imagine for a moment a world where the quality of a product is ensured at the design stage, rather than relying on inspection or correction after manufacturing. Sounds too good to be true, doesn't it? Well, this is precisely what Taguchi's method aims to achieve. Taguchi's method, a brainchild of Dr. Junichi Taguchi, a Japanese engineer and statistician, is a statistical method designed to optimize the quality of manufactured goods. Known as a robust design method, it investigates how different process factors will affect the mean and variance of a process performance characteristic. The beauty of Taguchi's method lies in its goal. To reduce the output variation of a process by optimizing the design parameters. This means ensuring product quality right from the design stage, a strategy that is both efficient and cost-effective. Now let's delve deeper into the three stages that constitute Taguchi's method. System design, parameter design, and tolerance design. System design is where the genesis of a product or process takes place. It is at this stage that the basic concept and function of the product or process are determined based on engineering knowledge and customer needs. Next up is parameter design, a stage that focuses on determining the optimal settings of the design parameters. This is achieved using orthogonal arrays and signal-to-noise ratios. The objective is to minimize the variation in output due to uncontrollable factors, such as environmental conditions or human errors. Finally, we have tolerance design, a stage that sets the acceptable ranges of variation for each design parameter. This is determined based on a cost-benefit analysis of reducing variation versus increasing production cost. In essence, Taguchi's method is a powerful tool that enables higher quality, lower cost, and shorter development time for your products and processes. Remember, quality is not an act, it's a habit. And with Taguchi's method, that habit starts right at the design stage. If you wish to dive deeper into the world of Taguchi's method and how to apply it practically, do check out the links in the description below. Did you find this video informative? If so, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more enlightening content on engineering and quality control. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time, keep innovating.